Hello everyone, welcome back to Asha.Academy. Today, let me walk you through tenses and tenses part 3. Under part 3, we do have simple future, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. When to make use of simple future? To express a voluntary action. To express a promise. To express a plan, to express a prediction. So simple future. Here, this tense is used to refer to actions or events that will happen in the future. Look at this sentence structure, will plus verb. So to express voluntary action, look at this given example. I will send you the information when I get it. I'm really hungry. I will make some sandwiches. So these are all the uh, examples under voluntary action. What's that voluntary action? A voluntary action is one the speaker offers to do or uh, offers to do for someone else here. Then comes to express a promise. I promise I will not tell him about the surprise party. Don't worry. I'll be careful so will is used to make promises so it is usually used in promises then comes will law be going to express a prediction the year 2022 will be a very interesting year the year 2022 is going to be a very interesting year so you can make use of will be or is going to so here, be going to, that is to express a plan. So here, he is going to spend his vacation in Dubai. Who is going to make Jim's birthday cake? So here, when you make use of is going to, which means that it is an intended action. You plan it earlier. So here, it shows your intended action here. Be going to expresses that something is a plan it expresses the idea that a person intends to do something in the future then comes future continuous the very first usage is to uh, talk about interrupted action in the future and then the second one is all about specific time as an interruption in the future and then the third one is all about to talk about parallel actions in the future and then Fourth one is to create an atmosphere in the near future. So here the very first example and that too before getting into the example, the sentence structure will be plus present participle, will be plus present participle to talk about interrupted action in the future. I will be watching TV when she arrives tonight. I'll be watching TV when she arrives tonight. So here, what is the interrupted action here arrives tonight is the interruption and which is the longer action i will be watching tv so use the future continuous to indicate that a longer action in the future will be interrupted by a shorter action in the future so which is the shorter action here arriving which is the longer action here watching tv here <clears throat> And then comes the next one specific time as an interruption in the future so here look at this given example tonight at 8 pm i'm going to be eating dinner at midnight tonight we will still be driving through the desert so here this one this example the future continuous is interrupted by a short action in the future and you can also use a Specific time as an interruption. Specific time. Tonight at 8 p.m. Tonight at midnight tonight. These are all specific time expressions. Okay. And then to talk about parallel actions in the future while Elisa is cleaning, Tim will be watching television. So here... When you use the future continuous with two actions in the same sentence, it expresses the idea that both actions will be happening at the same time. So what are all the actions going on here simultaneously? 
cleaning and watching television. Yes, so here to talk about parallel actions. And that too, they have made use of time clause here, while. And then, the next one. Atmosphere in the future. When I arrive at the party, some will be dancing, a few will be eating pizza, and several people are going to be drinking beer. So here in English, we often use a series of parallel actions to describe atmosphere at a specific point in the future. So here, this example for you. And then comes the next one. Future perfect tense. Look at the sentence structure, will have plus past participle. So when to make use of future perfect tense? When you want to talk about actions which will have completed by a certain time in future. So here you can talk about completed action before something in the past and duration before something in the future. So here the example. To talk about completed action before something in the future, under this one, you do have two examples here. By next June, I will have received my promotion. Then, the next one, all the teachers will have gone home by then. So here, the future perfect expresses the idea that something will occur before another action in the future. So before next June, he will be receiving his promotion, right? That's the meaning here. The future perfect expresses the idea that something will occur before another action in the future. It can also show that something will happen before a specific time in the future. Then the next example. Duration before something in the future. I will have been in London for six months by the time I leave. So here you can make use of future perfect and that is normally limited to non-continuous verbs. Although the above use of future perfect is normally limited to non-continuous verbs and non-continuous uses of mixed verbs, the words live, work, teach and study are sometimes used in this way even though they are not non-continuous verbs here. Then the next example for you. Look at this one. Future perfect continuous and its structure will have been plus present participle. Future perfect continuous for actions which will be in progress at a certain time in future. So obviously these actions will end later at some time in future. So here, the very first example for you. Duration before something in the future. They will have been talking for over an hour by the time Tommy arrives. So this is the example for you. We use the present, uh, sorry, future perfect continuous to show that something will continue up until a particular event or time in the future. For five minutes, for two weeks and since Friday are all durations which can be used with the future perfect continuous. And then comes cause of something in the future. Clara's English is perfect when she returns to India because she is going to have been studying English in the U.S. for over two years. So here again we use the future perfect continuous before another action in the future as a good way to show cause and effect. So again to make to show cause and effect we can make use of future perfect continuous. And children, I do believe that you must have understood these tenses in a better way. And for much clarification, much more clarification, please do type it there in the comment box. Thank you. Thanks for listening to me patiently. And please do like, share and subscribe. And please do follow the upcoming videos for 
many questions related to tenses and the differences. Thank you, children. Thanks for listening to me patiently. Bye-bye.